The 90s was truly a wild time to be alive in the city of Los Angeles. The city experienced growth in so many ways, it's almost hard to mention everything that happened during this decade. Hollywood solidified LA as the entertainment capital of the world, but that wasn't it. Companies like Google and Yahoo also made a big presence in LA during the 90s, which contributed to laying the groundwork for the city's future as a tech hub. The Lakers won a few NBA championships, and the Dodgers even made several playoff appearances during this decade. Truly a magical time for the city of LA. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Due to all the hype surrounding the city, LA experienced huge growth in cultural diversity and sheer volume in population. Families from all kinds of different ethnic backgrounds ended up flocking to LA County in hopes of a better life. Now don't get me wrong, there's been plenty of instances where different cultures and ethnic backgrounds got along here in Los Angeles, but there's been plenty of times where they haven't. At some point in the 90s, all Asians had a green light placed on them by the organization. The green light Light meant that all Sudanios and Southsiders were obligated to take flight on all Asians within LA County Jail, whether they were gang members or not. There's been a lot of speculation on the true reason behind this green light. I've seen a lot of comments, Reddit posts, and YouTube videos, and they all seem to have their own version of the truth. And in today's video, we're gonna attempt to put an end to all the debate, but I seriously doubt it, so make sure you leave your historic knowledge in the comment sections below. Now, I gotta call you guys out again. How are 70% of you guys not subscribed we're trying to get to 100k by the end of the year boys you got me or no also make sure you leave the video a like if you enjoy it because it helps me with the algorithm but without further ado let's get back into the topic of the video out of all the cities within la county long beach is up there when it comes to cities that struggle with racial segregation so it's no surprise the green light came about due to gangs that resided in the city of long beach when it comes to sureños there's really no other hood that's bigger than the longos the longos have three sides north side west side and east side they had a reputation and would often pick on the local asian youth within Long Beach. Long Beach has a big Cambodian community due to the many refugees of the Khmer Rouge flocking to the city after escaping the killing fields back in their homeland. The United States thought it would be a good idea to place these refugees of war into a concrete jungle filled with violence and gangbanging. Long story short, these two different cultures did not get along at all. A group of Cambodian kids got together to form TRG also known as Tiny Rascals Gang. We've talked about the Rascals a lot on this channel, but just in case this is your first time tuning in, the Rascals and Longos went at it tough. The Longos had the upper hand when it came to numbers, but TRG made up for that with firepower. Historically, the Asians were always plugged up when it comes to straps, and TRG was no exception. I mentioned earlier that the Longos are the biggest in all of Long Beach, which means they were the main factors for the organization. The Longos pushed a lot of narcotics for them, but due to TRG, narcotic sales started slowing down because the Rascals were sliding into Longo territory on the regular. Because of this, the organization organization had arranged a meeting, but this was no ordinary meeting. Members from the organization, the chief of police, detectives, and representatives from all Asian gangs within Long Beach were present during this meeting. The goal was to set a peace treaty between the Longos and the Asian gangs of Long Beach, but this peace treaty didn't last long. Several days later, a group of TRG gang members ventured into Longo territory, thinking they were under a peace treaty, but they ended up getting shot at by some Longos. TRG retaliated with the drive-by because at this point, the peace treaty was off. The Longos responded to this by kidnapping a 9-year-old girl, killing her, and leaving her body in a trash can in front of Ng's market. This killing sparked a fuse within all the Asian gangs of Long Beach, and they started to go crazy against the Longos. Bodies were being dropped left and right. The Asian gangs had the advantage on the streets because of their access to bigger guns, so the Sureños had to get to them in other ways and that was within the jail system. When it comes to LA County Jail and Wayside, the Southsiders and Sureños dominate when it comes to numbers. Due to this reason, a green light was placed on all Asians by the organization, meaning all Sureños and Southsiders were obligated to assault all Asians whether they were gang members or not. This caused the LA County Jails to form Asian modules to house all Asians together within the jails until the green light was lifted somewhere in the early 2000s. Shit was going down in the Asian gang modules within Men's Central Jail. And if you guys want to see a video detailing some of the stories that went down, let me know in the comment sections below. Rumor has it a gang member from Koreatown, Los Angeles was the reason why they had to put a stop to these Asian gang modules. But that story is to be confirmed. With all that being said, let me know what you guys want me to cover next. But until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.